YouTube, it's Missy, and today I'm here to share with you guys a very late TBR. I am participating in two separate readathons at the moment that both run from the 18th of April to the 24th of April. And both of those are the Authorathon and the hashtag Spring Horror Readathon. So, with that being said, let's start with the Authorathon. This readathon is hosted by Sam over on Thoughts on Tomes. I will leave her channel link down below. And one other person, but I can't remember who that person is. I'm very sorry. With this um, readathon, which is brand new, you can either read six books from the exact same author, or there are three, or three, <laughs> there are six categories that you can read from. I heard about this readathon last week. I figured, oh my gosh, this will be the perfect time to read Marcus Sedgwick. I have a lot of his books and I haven't read anything by him before and he writes um, mostly standalone and they're all from different genres so I thought this would have been perfect for a readathon and they're all very short. But then I realized now it's Wednesday, I don't have time for that, but I will probably do that in May anyway. So this is one of Marcus Sedgwick's books, and this is called Revolver. I do own a whole bunch of other ones, but I can't find them for some reason, and I looked all over. But I have Winter, Midwinter Blood, which is a fantasy horror book. Revolver, which I just showed you, is a historical fiction mystery. Then I have She Is Not Invisible, which is a mystery contemporary. And I have Ghosts of Heaven, which is a historical fiction fantasy. And then the last one I own is White Crow, and that one is a gothic horror. So that right there is one, two, three, four. That would have been five books by the same author, which would have been super exciting to be able to do. But since it's Wednesday, I don't have time to read six books in the next couple days starting from the very beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch gears and actually work from the six different challenges that Sam has listed on her channel. So first challenge is to read a book from your favorite author. So I have here uh, uh, Stephen King Salem's Lot. I am currently reading this book. I'm listening to this on audio and it's perfect because this is my favorite author and it's horror so it goes for both of the readathons. Yay! Alright, uh, the next question is or challenge is to read an author that is new to you. <laughs> Ignore the stickies. Um, so Tana French is an author that is new to me and I am excited to start this book. I was supposed to start yesterday, but I was so tired. So I'm going to start it tonight, but I'm looking forward to it. This is a adult mystery book. The next challenge is to give an author a second chance. Now, this could be an author that um, you read one book, but you didn't really like it, and you want to see if that you... And you want to see if you enjoy another book by the same author or a book that you DNF that you want to try to pick back up. So I have here Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. I have tried to read the sequel to um, Anna Dressed in Blood a whole bunch of times. And Anna Dressed in Blood I gave like three stars to. I didn't really enjoy it that much and I thought it was because I hated the narrator because I listened to it on audio so I tried to read the sequel and I haven't gotten into it so I want to try to pick it up again and see if I can power through it we will see and this is also horror or paranormal same same all right number four is to read a book by a debut author and I have here Constance Cooper and the book is called Guile. Uh, this came out in March, like the first of March, I think. So this is a debut novel, debut author. I'm super excited to read it. And yeah, debut meaning 2015 or 2016. And then I have number five is read a book by more than one author. 
and that is Beautiful Chaos. Every single time I show this book, I keep saying Beautiful Creatures. I do apologize, and thank you for not commenting how much of a moron I am. Um, I am still about halfway through this book. I was listening to it on audio, which makes it a lot quicker for me because I am in the middle of so many books. So hopefully I can get back into this this weekend because I love it and it's getting juicy. Things are happening and I need to know what. All right, and the last book or challenge that you could read is number six, read an author from a different continent. I am from the United States. I am currently reading the 13th tale. I literally have like 60 pages left before I finish this book, so that will be done tonight. And Diane Setterfield lives in England, so that's the UK. That is a different continent, and yeah, or you know, England's an island. But still, it's not the United States. So those are my six. Okay, so let's talk about the hashtag Spring Horror Readathon. I wrote this down too, right? I know I did. Where is my information? On a sticky note, like always. Okay, so I heard this from a, uh, a viewer, and she was sharing it with me, which I'm super excited about. Um, but basically, if you go to Seasons Readings, yeah, Season Reading Blogspot.com, I will leave that link down below. Uh, Michelle at True Book Addict and a couple other people have made this readathon, and basically, you just read either horror or thrillers or mysteries for this entire week. So. I am doing very well. And then the very last readathon is the Dewey's 24 hour readathon, which takes place on the 23rd this weekend. So I have a lot of books that I get to read this week and hopefully finish. Um, again, I will leave all the links down below. Are you participating in any of these readathons? Let me know. Have you read any of the books that I'm planning on reading? Let me know that too. And that is it. I'm sorry this took so long. I knew I was going to read these on Monday, but I just got really busy. And yesterday was Costco. No thanks. Costco's a nightmare. I hate going there. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!